Hello there and welcome to another sort of slow video I guess it's to do more with sorting and how I'm going to be upgrading the background to help sort bricks and how I actually organize some of these drawers I know I've touched on it before but there's definitely going to be some big updates to how I'm storing pieces and you all seem to like when I talked about my CMF stand which is just behind me that will be being upgraded to the Smiths one don't worry that is definitely not a permanent feature but whilst I'm waiting on collecting it and I'll be honest I've got a lot planned for the next few weeks so that might be in about a month's time well hopefully not by the time this video goes out because I'm currently recording this at the end of February and I know at the start of March I've got a bunch of different ideas for the new Tantiv set which honestly looks amazing and I'm definitely going to make that purchase worthwhile. There is so much that can be done with that. I've got a few ideas. Stick around so you don't miss out on them. But I will eventually get the Smiths one. I don't exactly know but I promise you at some point I will pick it up. But till then... It just fills in that background, haven't removed my football shirts. It just makes it look a bit better for my video. So it's only a temporary fixture, but I'm definitely running out of storage space for my bricks. In fact, I have so many bags just out of reach of all my two by bricks that I've just sorted out of a massive tub of Lego from about 15 years ago that I had growing up. And to be fair, all new sets I do part out and try and keep myself to it. I've got a few builds that I'm still yet to do for instance I've not only got the Jurassic Park Jeep that I need to do today I've also got my minifigure stands which I'm yet to break apart I got a few poly bags that have just been hanging around and I think I'll be parting them out but there's another reason why I like doing these videos it makes me want to do it and now I'm gonna have to do it today it's out on the internet that they are yet to be done so it helps me stay on top of it I've also bagged up all my round bricks and have here a whole bag of arches this isn't going to fit in one of them drawers in fact if i was to hold up a drawer next to it you can see that i'd probably need two of these smaller ones it'd probably fit all in a big one if i remove the divider but that's not how i want to store my bricks so i'm definitely going to need to get some bigger units I'm thinking of getting some drawers for just below here where I've got this unit here. Everything that is on there could be put into the ottoman and I'll clear the ottoman into a bunch of drawer units because most of them are bagged up. I've now sorted through every single pile of bricks that I've got. I've still got all the plates and other bits and I actually have a Lego bag of Technic bricks which hopefully will go into there but... At the minute, half of that unit is taken up with different minifigure accessories, so I'm going to need to buy another unit on top. And I've just sort of been putting it off, so I decided to turn on the camera, record it, and make sure that this time in a month or two, perhaps by the summer, I get that sorted. And any input from any of you who have had similar problems is definitely very appreciated, as I haven't ever put my Lego into drawers, so... I am going to need to get some dividers for the drawers and at the minute I'm looking at getting some drawers from b and I'll whack them on top. If you didn't know these units are from home base so it does keep it relatively cheap when looking at storing Lego and even the accessibility. These aren't really going to sell out anytime soon if I ever need another one. I'm sure if these were ever on sale I'd definitely pick up a few and store them in the loft just in case. I need them down the line but the drawers I'm looking at I can fit two just underneath which should give me plenty of storage. I'd probably take all my bricks out of these units and whack them in the drawers. This whole unit here is more or less bricks. I've got all my slopes taken up the top two levels. I've then got a few different half arches and that which are still in there. On this bottom bit here where you see the nine big drawers, I've got some 1x6, 1x8s, 2x6s. Again, there's a lot of 1x and 2x slopes in there. And then I've even got some other just miscellaneous bricks. I think I've got my 1x1s also just up top in the Technic unit. I just need to get the bricks at home and I'm definitely looking at the drawers. I will be going over... What's changing with the drawers if you are interested and it is going to be a bit of an odd video today. There are no mocks. It's just me waffling on for probably about 10 minutes. So if you do like these videos, definitely be sure to give it a like. In fact, 
the last time I did this with my CMFs, it's one of my most liked videos from around the time. So there'll definitely be more of this content. It's sort of behind the scenes. So you'll probably see that in the title as well. Because that's what I feel like when you're watching a movie. You don't see the stuff behind the scenes. And it is quite interesting what goes on. So let's let's take a look at how the drawers are changing. So as you can see with the two drawers I have selected. There's no particular reason I have picked these two out. But... This drawer here is completely full of bricks and there must be no more than like 20 bricks in here which isn't very efficient. I mean there's even some overflow into the back bit here and then I have two, three, perhaps four of these angled slope bricks which again don't really need a whole section when I don't have that much in the first place. So what I'd probably do is get rid of these slopes and put them in a bag or eventually hopefully into one of the drawers I mentioned earlier and then what that enables me is this is mixed mainly the front part I think the back is all of these round jumper plates but as you can see the front is mixed we've got some 3 by 3 tiles we've got some 2 by 2 tiles and we have the 2 by 2s with the hole so eventually what I would be doing is moving the 2 by 2s to a separate section Perhaps even the 3 by 3s it'd probably just be other round tiles that don't really fit in anywhere else. And keeping the ones with the holes in the front and just making it a bit easier to find the ones I need. Especially if I'm finding a certain colour in here. If I'm trying to dig all the way to the bottom, it just sort of starts to overflow the drawer and makes it a bit harder to get the specific elements that I need. So that is my plan with the drawers again. The bigger drawers for the bricks would make this so much easier, but if you are short on space, perhaps it would be easier to whack the ones with the hole in with the ones with a jumper. I found it easier to be this way because when I'm looking for them, I'm either looking for a hole or not, and it is a bit easier to determine between these two than it is for the other ones, which there's definitely a difference, but from the underside, they are very similar. So... That is my plan with these drawers. Again, I'll end up putting all of the bricks into some sort of Ziploc bag like this. And for now, it's not too problematic. I can just whack these in a tub and put them away when I'm not using them. But it's not too easy to access. If I want, for instance, this red brick, we'll ignore this one up here and this one here. If I wanted this red brick and it's the only one, perhaps this brown one's easier to go with. I have so many of the same bricks that it's hard to find one that isn't a few times throughout the bag. But if I wanted this brick, there's no chance of me fitting my hands down the side of the bag. I mean, my hands don't fit in a Pringles tube, let alone this little gap that goes all the way down the side. So I guess for this one, I could shake it up. But really, what I'd end up doing is pouring it out, finding the brick. Not too bad for a bag this size, but... When you're dealing with a bunch of bricks like this, it just makes a lot of unnecessary mess and isn't really something I want to be doing every time I am looking for a certain brick. Now, of course, I could break this down into the separate brick sizes. These are all two by bricks, including the right angled ones you can see just at the bottom here. But I've still got so many of my two by sixes in the unit on the wall. My 2x4s are actually in two tubs themselves already. So these are just sort of my overflow bricks that if I need any colourful bricks or perhaps some more of this dark stone grey, then I can just come to this bag and grab the bricks I need. But hopefully sometime soon I will get the drawer sorted and that'll just give me more space in these drawers. As I said, it pretty much frees up a whole unit. And then I'll get one for my minifigure parts and that will free up the Technic one. Now you've seen how the drawers are changing. I think the only thing left to do is sort. So I'm going to get to sort in all my other bricks. And hopefully, as I said, I have them sorted into Ziploc bags. I find they're so much easier to put in Ziploc bags than different containers I have laying around. Boxes just pile up. These bags can all be whacked in a box. They're quite a concise method of storing. I guess they're not perfect. The best way, especially for the square bricks, would be to box them up in a pick a brick box, which I still only have one. Hopefully I can get to a Lego store soon and start collecting a few more because 
they are great storage solutions and i guess the only better thing to do would be to find some cardboard boxes that match the exact same dimensions because they do fit quite snugly in different sort of lego builds and i've also seen the ikea tubs which would be cool if you could put dividers in the middle but I don't think that's possible so i'm going to stick to trying to find my drawers if you have any sort of tips and tricks when storing your lego in drawers do let me know i was originally going to consider keeping them in their ziploc bags but i just think it would be easier if i get some trays i'll probably end up printing my own plastic trays and dividers just so i know exactly how much space i will need whacking them in perhaps we can get some stackable ones going as well that could be quite interesting but Till then, make sure you are subscribed so you can firsthand see the progress of the storage wall behind me. And be sure to stick around for more awesome LEGO content. May the bricks be with you, always.